In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make anime styled character models in iClone 5. So why cover your iClone 5? It's an older version of iClone. Well, it just has really good results and it's worth trying it out if you have a license for iClone 5 so on hand. Character creator models you know, are very diverse, but they don't animeify as well, if you ask me, as a certain type of model called G3 characters in uh, Revolutions collection. So we're gonna start with some base models, and they're very old, in fact, they're so old <laughs> that I had to um, create my own custom uh, downloads for you guys. Links are in the description for all the models you need. You can uh, then load them into your iClone 5. Okay, so once you have those downloaded and installed into your iClone, we can get started. Let's start with the heads. First select the female character and then go to the head tab. You will see when you scroll down the facial features section and you will want to click the head thumbnail and then anime settings. And you can then uh, just leave it at the default 50% and tweak it further with the detail feature. And the other sliders, uh, one thing I like to do is uh, click on the nose and change the width to uh, something really nice and thin and change the ears to something a little lower and a little more outward, depends on your preferences. You can go to the detail features, maybe use a hand-on reference of something you admire. If you go to the side view, you can tweak the nose around a bit, make it more upward curve. Again, references of hand-on anime can really help. As for the eyes, I'd uh, recommend, you know, kind of lowering them, going to the eyes tab and enlarging the eyeballs moving them closer together so that they're more narrow, adjusting the eyelashes how you like, and back in the heads tab, you can change the head size and proportions. Also, with the eyes, if you uh, take the eyelid and flatten it out a bit, it can add a nice effect. Alright, onto our male character, which you need to select, do the same thing we've done before. Select the anime filter, change the nose width to something thinner, adjust the detail features and make things nice and curved, alter the uh, lip shape a bit and the chin shape, make the chin a little more narrow, adjust the eyebrows, the ears to something lower and more outward, eye height, eye shape with the little detail features. Again, it can be really nice to have kind of narrow look and uh, move the lower eyelids. And there we have some really nice looking heads. Okay, I'm going to hide the clothing so we can focus on the anatomy. Just change the opacity to zero temporarily on all the clothing. Censoring things for you, just in case we have younger audience members here. Okay, so you'll want to go back to the actor tab and uh, change the avatar proportions. So, for the male, you know, just change the shoulder width so it's not too extreme. And play around with the uh, torso proportions how you like, the pelvis proportions. And I've noticed making everything kind of narrow is nice. Making the legs a little more stick-like can be an uh, interesting aesthetic, but don't overdo it. Changing the upper legs to be shorter and the four legs to be longer, along with the upper arms being shorter and the lower arms being longer. That can be kind of a odd but uh, very anime-like look for anatomy. It's kind of warped anatomy, but it works. Also, make sure to change the neck width to something thinner and the head size to something a little bigger. And then we'll repeat everything with the female model. She's going to have maybe a shorter torso thin and uh, short upper legs, and maybe a slightly more curvy lower legs. Definitely girls can be more curvy, she's gonna have an hourglass shape, so leaving the hips where they are. Shorter upper legs and longer forelegs, same with the arms, larger head, and thinner neck. And let's add all the clothes back. And then from there you can just tweak the clothing and have fun with it. Add some hair. If you want to have textured anime characters, you can do that too. 
Anyways, the tune shading look, that's for a different tutorial. These tutorials are meant to be digested in bite-sized chunks. I hope you found these useful and uh, that you'll have some fun making your own characters. Thank you for watching.